<laughs> and they all lived happily ever after. Happily ever after. What a crock. I don't know how I would retire, but I intend to one day. Ah! Sweetheart, there is nothing under the bed. Here it is, the monster. Okay, 20 years from now, I will be 62. I will be $32,184 in debt. I think a good retirement for the American public is pretty much a fairy tale at this point. Every day we have 10,000 baby boomers reaching retirement, collecting their Social Security benefits. Social Security is bankrupt. <gasps> what? Young people have come to wonder what would be their lot when they came to old age. Social Security got going without anybody thinking about who's going to pay the bills. Retirement should be a three-legged stool. There should be some personal savings, a pension, and the guarantee of Social Security. It's like we don't even really know what that looks like. There's all these social structures that we've relied on in the past. Pensions, you know, this idea of working in a company for 30 years and retiring. We're on sort of the last generation of that. The third pig planned on touring the enchanted forest in an RV. My grandparents have an RV. Bet your granddad has a pension. No, it's a Winnebago. <laughs> what do you think they're... Okay. Well, my retirement plan right now is called a life insurance policy. No, no, no. Uh, no, my retirement plan right now is Social Security. I have a 401k with uh, not enough in it. You're hungry. It's funny because I can hear my wife in my ear right now. What are we doing about that? I don't think there'll ever be a retirement. I don't. I see what my mom is doing at 72 years old. We're looking at a much greater financial burden on Social Security than it once had. It's obviously supposed to be the first leg of the stool, not the whole stool. We have a nice view. When it comes to having to move, I'll miss it. It's exhausting. If this continues for six more months, we have to make radical life changes. Oh, we got a problem, honey. I think about where two old people will end up. <laughs> no. We're going this way? It's a moral issue. I'm actually nervous. If the ultimate test of a moral society is the world we leave our children, our grandchildren, this country's failing and failing miserably at it. Yes, like you, yeah. Nick Triana. You can't. Solve big problems with what fits on a bumper sticker. Maybe you should just give up the notion that you get to retire. Change what you do. Incoming. Everyone's living longer. You can have people who are retired for 30 or 40 years. Is that a sustainable system over a long period of time? Who's feeling young we need to have an adult conversation in this country around the issue of what does retirement mean? There's always a time to save. Let me set the clock and start back at square one and move forward in a new way. Happily ever after isn't what it used to be. Retirement is no fairy tale. Yikes! Ah! It's another kind of story altogether.